Hey, what's up? Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm gonna show you how to send your Bitcoin from Coinbase. I'm using the app, you can use the laptop, desktop, whatever. On over to your Trezor Model T. Then I'll do it from the Model T back to Coinbase. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. All right, so let's hop on into the Coinbase app here. And I'm already on the Bitcoin price right now. It is at $57,205. Um, I already have a little bit within my BTC wallet. Let's go ahead and click that. Then let's go ahead and send it here. So we're gonna click on that airplane icon at the top right. Okay, pull that up there. Then you're going to send, okay, I'm just gonna do the max amount and then continue. From there, it's gonna say, okay, what address are we sending to? Now, I always tell people this time and time again, please double and triple check your addresses so you do not send it to the wrong address or an incomplete address. Let's say you copied the whole address except you left out the last three characters. If you send it like that and it's incorrect, you'll never get your Bitcoin back again or any other asset that you may send. So please, 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 please double and triple check your addresses so that it is kept safe, so that you send to the right address and you're okay, all right? So then we can use the QR code scanner. We can copy and paste in the address. Let's go ahead and come on over to my Trezor Suite account let's uh let's go on to, and click on bitcoin and then i'm going to do receive all right so then i'm going then from there to click on show full address and then it shows me the address with the qr code i can scan or copy and paste it in whatever is more convenient for you do so once that address is put into the two section please guys double and triple check it okay just check make sure everything is correct here Perfect, all right, so then you can put a note if you want, or just you know come on down here and do preview send. And then it's going to tell you what the fee will be for that network fee in order to send it. Uh, I'm paying with BTC, so then send now. Yeah, I'm then going to get a seven digit code in a text message, plug that in, click submit, and then it's sent. So you can see how easy that was to send it on over to the Trezor uh, product. Okay, and then of course over here, it's gonna have the address on my screen. You just click that uh, green button as well because it's showing me my receiving address is what it's doing. You can also click the QR code button to see the QR code. Click accept, all right, great. And then it will come here once it validates on the blockchain, once the, tr the confirmations have been approved, then we will see that amount show up within our Bitcoin account on the Model T. And I will come back to you once it does it. It sometimes will take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes to do so. So I will come back to you once it has been confirmed on the blockchain and we'll be right back. All right, so you can see that it's starting to set up, it's starting to confirm on the blockchain. It's not 100% done, um, but you can see that it's telling me, okay, I've got about this much of BTC uh, with, you know, comes out to about $96.25 um, within fiat USD. And then you can see down here, it says pending transaction, receiving BTC, so it has not fully uh, been confirmed on the blockchain yet but it shows me the amount of BTC and, and the dollar amount. You can click on it as well, and it will show me more details on uh, this transaction. Um, and so if that's something that you're curious about, something you wanna see more details on that transaction, you can see it right there on that screen. All right, so it's been about 16 minutes, and as you can see, it has confirmed here on the blockchain. It's no longer pending. So now we want to send it back to Coinbase. So go ahead and click Send. On the address here, you can copy and paste your receiving address into that section. You can scan with the QR code, and what that does, it allows you to scan, use the webcam on your laptop, in, in this my case here. Um, and I can hold up the QR code from my phone, and boom, it will pull that code, or you can copy and paste that code, however you decide to do it. 
You can copy and paste that, that receiving address, not code, that receiving address, put it into that address section there. But I'm just gonna say it again, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, please double and triple check your address because you never want to send it to a different crypto uh, asset. If you do, if you send it on a different uh, network, if it does go through, there, there are platforms that notify you and say, hey, this is the wrong type of network that you're trying to send. But if you do send it, say you have two or three characters that are missing or you inputted it incorrectly and it sends, you'll never get those assets back. You cannot reverse the blockchain. That is the beauty of the blockchain um, is that you cannot reverse it, okay? So uh, please double and triple check your addresses to make sure that it is correct and that you're sending to the proper crypto blockchain, okay? So in this case, Bitcoin. So let's go on over here and let's go to my wallet. I'm gonna go up to the QR code uh, icon to get that uh, address. I can copy or scan that QR code. Once it is there, I can put in the amount that I want to send back to Bitcoin. I'm sorry, back to Coinbase. And uh, I'm gonna do send max because I want to send the max amount that I can um, because I'm showing you how to send it back and forth here. Um, and then I can determine how fast I want to send this. And, and you'll see here the estimated time plus the fee rate. So two sats there. Uh, this would be a one sat um, for you know be almost eight hours to confirm. Um, or I can go as high as about 10 minutes here and it'll, the fee will be about 16 sats. As you can see, um, the fee there is $1.24 and $1.16, 16 cents and eight cents. So very, very cheap. If you, you know, aren't recording a video like I am and you're like, you know what, I'll just send it. I'll come back to it later on and just see, if, make sure everything's correct. Go ahead and do, do the economy version, do the low version, that's okay. Um, but for the sake of the video here, I'm gonna choose high and I'm gonna do review and send. And then it's gonna have the address, the fee and the total amount. And then it's going to show here on my Trezor Motel uh, T here, the amount and the address it's sending to just to confirm that everything is correct. I'm gonna click that green uh, OK button here on the screen. Confirm the transaction, so it's gonna show me the total amount here. And then I'm gonna click and hold that green button to confirm that that is what I want to do. All right, so now it's sending the transaction. And I can click send here on the suite as well. So now it is it has sent, let me come down here, the transactions. You can see that it's a pending transaction. So it is going to take up to about 10 minutes there for it to send properly. Um, and then I'll show you how it confirmed on my app on Coinbase. And that will be the end of the video. All right, so now about 30 minutes later, that's how long it took to confirm on the blockchain, enough to where it would show up on my Coinbase app as well. You can see on my Trezor suite that's confirmed here, okay? And then uh, hopping on over to uh, my Coinbase app here, as you can see, I've got it pulled up. Um, right now, it shows right there, BTC wallet, and it shows the amount, $94.80 currently as I'm recording this video based on the market price. Um, so you can see that now it is in my wallet and I have that available to spend or to trade with if I want to, or I can convert it. And that is how you send Bitcoin from the Coinbase app. In this case, you can always do it on a desktop to your Trezor Model T. And if you guys found that helpful, please smash that like button uh, right here on the page. It helps the algorithm know that this content is helpful and that you liked it. Um, but also there's about 95% of you that are not subscribed to the channel. Subscribe so that you can see that in your subscription feed when I pro post more videos. And even turn on the bell notification so that you get notified when I po post more content. So enough of me talking guys, get outside, enjoy that day, and I'll see you when I see you.